We finally got a good look at the map of Assassin's Creed Mirage. The game, of course, takes place in a 9th century Baghdad. And there are four different districts that should all have their own distinctive look. Every district has its own Hidden Ones Bureau. And we now learned that they will all have very doors that make sense for the location that they are in. And we, of course, already saw a Hidden Ones Bureau during the Ubisoft Ford stream. So we now learned that that is in Kach. And Kach is the market district that we now also see in new gameplay. I think it looks awesome, especially in the Gamescom trailer. You see that many people are on the street here trying to do business. This really seems to be one of the most crowded spots of the city with many stalls where they sell goods from China, Spain and Constantinople. And real quick, as you likely know, Basim will eventually go to Constantinople to meet Sigurd. Sadly, this meeting will not be in Mirage, though. While we might actually see some Vikings in the game, as we already spotted in the cinematic trailer, so it would be cool if we find them while walking around the marketplace in Kach as well. Abyssia is the cultural hub of Baghdad, where we will see many white-robed citizens, which will include scholars, philosophers, scientists, and astronomers. So basically, a lot of knowledgeable people come together here, share their finds with each other, like we see Vasil do in the is cutscene. Arbia is the industrial part of Baghdad. Ubisoft notes that it's a dense but also grimy part of the city. Really sounds like the underbelly to me. This is where the slavers, orphans, fucks and workers are trying to scrape a living. And this in direct contrast with the most iconic part of the city, the round city of Baghdad, which is at the center. Here we'll find the rich, like in every district we should encounter different NPCs. There are beautiful gardens that we already got a glimpse of in recent footage. And the highlight is of course the enormous palace that we can climb and also unlock as a few points to get a perfect look over the city which from this angle once again looks really sizable. We also know that every one of the four districts will have its own order target to kill but in the new Gamescom trailer we actually saw five order of the ancient targets with the middle one probably being the final target we have to go after that will become available after killing their four followers. I really hope this turns out to be a familiar story character similar to the previous games. I would not be surprised if that's the case. Now let's look at the map, the many icons, side content and way more of course if you are hyped for Assassin's Creed Mirage then leave a like on the video that would really show you support and subscribe to not miss anything on the game but first the sponsor of this video Rich as you likely know I've been using these really small wallets and amazing key cases for a very long time now they are a year-long sponsor on the channel and I'm now rocking the very special Hennessy variants with the same durable material but a very unique design without spending a dollar you can only enter on their website for a chance to win a brand new upgraded Hennessy Ford Bronco or $75,000 in cash if you prefer that. And for every $1 you spend, you get one entry. But you want to do that via my link, rich.com slash Joraptor or use Joraptor at checkout. Then you will get a 10% discount and 10 bonus entries. Rich wallets come with a lifetime warranty and a 99 day money back guarantee. I also put the special link in the video description. Like if you were ever considering Considering getting rich, then it's totally the best time to do it. For also a chance to win the Hennessy Ford Bronco or the $75,000 in cash. And it would support the channel, of course, as well. So thanks to Rich for sponsoring the video. And now let's get back to Mirage. First of all, I think the map is really cool designs. Like, sure, the UI looks a lot like Valhalla, but I love the sketches of buildings and other points of interest in the still undiscovered parts of the map that totally piqued my interest. Like, I now want to go there and see what's up. Now, there's way more to look at. So let's start with the icons. Some are easy, like for the Hidden Ones Bureau and the, again, really cool viewpoint marker. Mentioned this in the previous video as well. I think this one is for the main quest as it looks quite a lot like the one Valhalla was using as well. And we also got these like clock dots likely for historical sites as they're now located on uh, the big palaces. Although I would not be surprised if these are also few points when you get closer. And we see way more icons if we zoom in. It is for the contracts board. As we know those are inside the Hidden Ones bureaus and the contracts themselves also have this icon indicating that that is where you need to go. We know this for the tailor where you can likely buy new dice for our outfits. I think these are just regular fenders as the 
icon is similar to Valhalla in the previous games. And it's probably for the wanted posters we can remove to decrease our notoriety. So the bar in the bottom right it goes then down so the enemies will stop looking for us. These two blades look a lot like the raid location icons in Valhalla. So are probably for outposts we can take over. And in my previous video I talked about a pickpocket mini game that is back in Mirage which was hinted at in the tooltips for the loading screen. Maybe that is what this icon is for. Your theories of course more than welcome in the comments. Like we also got the music notes. Maybe that's for a mini game we don't know about yet or like a musician that we can bribe so it will distract guards so we can infiltrate an area more easily. Now this yellow one is of course more obvious as also in the map information card we see that in the industrial Harbia region there are six gear chests to find with also six of these gear chests in Abyssia. So maybe there are six per district and with there just being one outfit piece or costume you can collect I think getting these gear chests will be way more exciting as we won't just find like gloves or boots in these chests but no immediately unlock a full armor set instead. Now of course these gear chests will probably also include new swords or daggers and maybe even a talisman that we know are only cosmetic but they do add a nice touch to Basim's overall look. Other things that we can find in the different regions are historical sites, which we know are these small glowing things that you can then interact with to unlock an object or other historical things that teaches you about the setting of Mirage, similar to the discovery tour of the other games. Not sure what the mysterious shards are. We know there should be a special outfit to find, similar to Origins and other games, so maybe we need the mysterious shards for that. And there are also dervish's artifacts, so maybe similar to the artifacts we also had to grab in Valhalla but now linked to Dervish who according to Wikipedia and of course correct me if I'm wrong accepted material poverty and basically everything they do is to become closer to God and completing these map objectives will fill the bar similar to and I kind of sound like a broken record to Valhalla as we see in this work in progress footage now I totally think that one of the things that is still undiscovered on a map card is for the Tales of Baghdad which are basically the mystery that we saw in Valhalla we now got a small bit of gameplay where we see a very similar standing around conversation between a monk and Basim so this should be short probably 10 to 15 minutes and learn us more about key cultural subjects from a Mirage's time period while there should also be and we haven't seen them I think yet side missions like the 40 Thieves pre-order quest I hope there are like many more of that. You maybe all spotted the suggested rank part here with Abyssia being for the apprentice, which we know is the first rank, while Harbia is for the initiate, so maybe the second rank. Now I don't think we should look too much into this, so we know the first target that you have to kill is the same for everyone, but after doing that, you can choose the target you want to go after, so also the district you want to go to. Like this suggested rank is probably Probably just a warning like sure you can go to the round city immediately but know that the enemies here are more challenging so you might want to have some extra tools unlocked first and I also would not be surprised if the new Greek fire enemy only shows up in the high rank regions as we will probably need some great weapons and other like tools to battle it now Ubisoft Japan by the way showed an image of the physical map that you can get at the Japanese Amazon which also really shows the big size of the land beyond the city again from that few points looking over the city look pretty big but there's also a ton of like desert and other types of areas we can explore beyond the walls of Baghdad and you likely want to do this on a mount and if you by the way had a keen eye you also saw a horse icon on the map for probably the stable ride to where we can grab new mounts and maybe even train them like we also saw in Valhalla. I gotta say after going over all this info I'm not too worried anymore about the size of this game. I think it will probably be pretty big for the price especially that Ubisoft is asking but of course your takes more than welcome in the comments. Make sure you also participate in my giveaway for the digital deluxe edition of the game if you haven't already you find a link to that in the video description you have to be a subscriber though if you want to enter and make sure you are subscribed because i got some really cool mirage things coming your way pretty soon that you don't want to miss of course a like on the video would really help me out and check out our live reaction of the brand new gamescom trailer by clicking on the screen i will speak to you soon goodbye